Good morning. What a beautiful day we have for us today, for us, us in Montana. More importantly, for our children and our students and our families. So I am very honored and blessed to be sworn in on this beautiful day. With that, I'd like to introduce Pastor Bostrom, who will give us our blessing. Thank you. Would you pray with me? Good shepherd of our souls, in this honored place of government in our great state, our hearts are full of thanks and praise on this special day. First, we praise you for your presence among us, inflame our hearts with love and illumine our minds with truth. We remember Peter when he wrote, you were continually straying like sheep, but now you've returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Guardian of our souls, what hope, what truth you give us. So this word guardian is also translated superintendent. Instead of our continuing to be shepherdless, there is a superintendent we can trust to keep our very souls and the souls of our children. We can come under your umbrella of grace and protection. Now, as we thank you for helping Elsie through the past four years, we pray for her in the next four years. There are many things beyond us, but not beyond you. Help her shepherd and befriend our children, we pray. Give her those who will come alongside her as she seeks to shepherd this next generation. Provide a strong foundation of love and truth for the lives of these students. They're growing up among shifting sands of time that are changing so rapidly. So in regard to this team, first we pray for parents to come alongside Elsie. They're our children's first teachers, first shepherds, first friends. Ephesians 6.4 instructs parents do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Lord, grant parents such grace, especially in these times. And for those children whose parents do not have such grace, send others to shepherd our children. Grant our children agile and inquisitive minds as they come to learn and care for all creation. Open our children to new discoveries and give them the true joy of learning. Give them understanding so that more than aiming at test scores, they can serve others, especially the poorest and most needy among us. And for our teachers, grant them the shepherd's deep love for all truth. Enable them to encourage young minds to hunger for the highest ideals. May such teachers know the greatness of their vocation, not giving in to discouragement. We ask abundant blessings upon their countless unseen sacrifices. And for our administrators, give them far-reaching vision as they make decisions for future generations. Bless them with wisdom from on high as they combine in personal technology and personal instruction. And finally, Good Shepherd, we pray for us, all Montanans. Help us also come alongside Elsie to shepherd our children. Remind us to pray for her. Grant us a growing desire to love you and our neighbors so that this land, especially blessed by you, may continue to be a place where your kingdom keeps coming. Good Shepherd, we ask this humbly in your most holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Bostrom. What I'd also like to do now is have our children's voices ring out with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join us. Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning. It is my privilege to stand here at the beginning of Elsie's second term as our uh, superintendent of instruction. And in a minute, I will administer the oath, but I just can't help but saying how excited I am about her vision, about the resources that she intends to bring, and the skill sets that have been challenged and improved uh, 
by teachers, parents, and students uh, as everyone becomes flexible yet still moves forward in the most important piece of life, and that being education. So with that, thank you very much all for being here. Please join me in the oath. And Craig, thank you. Please raise your right hand. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support. That I will support. Protect. Protect. And defend. And defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Montana. The Constitution of the State of Montana. And that I will discharge the duties of my office. And I will discharge the duties of my office. With fidelity. With fidelity. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Thank Superintendent. You. Thank you. Congratulations, Craig. Thank you. Thank you. With that, I am very humbled and I am honored to be able to lead the next four years for our children, for our families. And behind me, we have so many teachers, administrators, great people who work in the agency, in the Office of Public Instruction, that we will be leading forward in putting our Montana students first. Behind us is the Capitol, also filled with legislators, legislators who understand their promise to our future, our future generations of young Montanans. And I know they also join me in making sure that the children's future, our future, is bright with public education. With that, I am humbled and I am so blessed to be taking this oath of office, not for me, but for you. Thank you very much. Enjoy the beautiful day the Lord has given us. Thank you. Thank you.